What's up guys? What's up dude? I am fucking pumped like I've had a roller coaster this weekend. I am fucking excited guys. What is going on? Welcome to the Sunday Stockcast. My name is Cruz. I am the founder and head trader at newagewallstreet.com. We are primarily an options trading community. We do trade some equities and small caps. Some of our members uh, do do that as well. And uh, if things are a little slow, we might trade some Pokemon cards or crypto every once in a while too. So um but yeah welcome guys we do this every sunday we do uh just a quick analysis technical analysis to go over the um go over some plays and uh, go over how your trading week and what you're working on in your trading personally and then i also go over a watch list and things to watch out for for this weekend upcoming up and uh 
dude, what what a week we had last week, right? So uh, we did get to trade a little bit together on Friday. If you came for the TJF stream, uh, we did trade a little bit together and uh, I cut it a little bit short. wasn't feeling good. Really tired. Finally got a lot of rest yesterday. I took a nap, which I haven't done probably since I was in like middle school. Who knows? Um, nap is not in my vocabulary, and it was freaking amazing. Um, but I'm energized. I'm amped. I'm good to go, guys, uh, for this week. I hope you're just as excited to get uh, get it back to trading uh, this week. Um, real quick, before we get started and we jump right into any content, if you could go share this stream with your grandma, your uncle, your dogs, walker, whoever, uh, just go show, share the video and like and comment, subscribe, everything that you can, please, guys. Um, I would really appreciate it. it helps the YouTube algorithm so then we could educate more traders. Uh, we're going to have a huge influx, a huge influx of new traders into the, into the market now, guys. I want them to be properly educated. And I do believe I do have that knowledge to be able to provide that uh, quality education. Um, and you're not just gambling to see if something goes up and um, following, following like a herd mentality. So um, let's help everyone out. Make sure that, you know, if they want to get some quality education that they do have access to it, okay? Um, ready to AMC to break that $20? Yeah, we got to get through 16 first, brother. I don't know if you guys seen that $16 got s absolutely slammed uh, on the uh, on the tape on uh, Thursday and Friday. I believe it was Thursday and Friday, but yeah, Thursday and Friday, it got absolutely smoked at 16. So we got to get above that first. Um, before we get started, um, I got to give away this big ass thing. I got to give away the PS5, guys. So I uh, got it backwards. <laughs> Um, got to give away the PS5. Today's the last day if you guys want to enter. If you guys could put out the, um, if you, uh, if you guys could go and, uh, uh, if you guys want to enter the giveaway for the PS5, today's the last day. I think Darren will put the link for you guys if you guys want to do that and I'll ship it out to you. We're going to announce the winner next Sunday on the Stockcast next Sunday, all right? Um, so I have my son over here kind of drooling. He says he wants one and he said he was going to open it, so... Uh, you guys need to go hurry up and uh, and register for the the giveaway before he opens it and ruins it for everyone. So, <laughs> um, no other announcements. I don't think, guys. We're just chilling as far as memberships and things like that. As far as now, we're um, I'm excited to get into February. We had an awesome January. Uh, get ready to get into February and kick some ass. And we got uh, we got um, earnings a lot. A couple of earnings. Uh, from our tickers that we watched this week. We'll go over some of those right now. Um, how's everyone doing? Yeah, I just uploaded here, guys, if you guys wanna take a look. I just uploaded um, uploaded a new uh, YouTube video here. Guys, go watch it, the AMC prediction. Uh, go watch it and uh, leave me a like for, for me, please. Um, it's doing absolutely awesome, so if you guys could go watch the video and share it with a friendly, that would be absolutely great. Dude, that's what I like to see, brother. I like to see uh, people that start searching around and then find my channel. And like I said, um, like I said, I want, um, I want people to uh, get quality education, man. I know that there's a lot of frauds and I know there's a lot of fakes and just smoke and mirrors out there and I, I want you I want my traders to succeed and my members to succeed more than anything so um, I, we if you uh, if you want to join our community we'd be honored if you want to join our community um, I believe we're the best value out there right now for options trading so um, absolutely hey citizen yeah dude what's up guys then I go to GameStop to pick up games yeah then you could go to GameStop to pick up your games bro oops uh, what are the what are the best Delta plays for AMC GME right now? Um, honestly, guys, I'll tell you right up at the front. As far as AMC and G, GME, I have to see the price action at the open, the way that it's going to go, and the, the way that it's going to open up in pre-market for me to make a decision tomorrow, and then I could um, make an educated decision. As of right now, um, and I'll start sharing my my screen over here. Uh, as of right now, this there's not any type of uh, trend direction right now. So if you're taking a look at AMC and if you just watch my video, we're going sideways right now. So we're going sideways and we're kind of in, we call this in my room, we call this compression. So 
um, this, whenever the market goes and starts losing volatility and starts going sideways, the market doesn't like that. The market likes to either trend in an upward or downward fashion, and it doesn't like this. So you could either get a, a bullish release or a bearish release. And it usually, if with as much volume as that we had, we could, this could be pretty violent in whichever way that it breaks out. If you watch the video that I just posted on uh, AMC, you could see where it got slammed in right here. You know where the you know where the shorts are lining up at at sixteen dollars right here, right here, right here, and right here is where all the shorts are lined up at. So if we get into pre market tomorrow and this starts curling up to sixteen or even right at the bell, please do not try to buy the breakout. Make sure that it does break out and it confirms that sixteen first. So then, so then we get that confirmation to the upside, and it's going to continue going, okay? Now, same thing to the downside. I got my little line right here at $11. If it breaks $11, then this is going to fade back further down. Um, I would say that I wanted to get back to $5 if it breaks to the downside, okay? Um, dude, absolutely unprecedented times in the stock market, dude. Uh, absolutely unprecedented times. Um, I've been trading for five years now. I haven't seen anything like it. I've traded through the marijuana bubble i traded through the shipper bubble i traded through the um uh crypto bubble uh the flash crash in 2018 and this is crazy right um i know that there's more veteran traders than i that uh have traded you know maybe through the dot-com era 2008 things like that i i wasn't old enough so um dude i'm just lucky to get this type of experience for anything that happens to uh, coming um coming up further all right uh let me turn on the light here real quick so you guys can see me a little bit better and i'll be right back one second all right all right um only been trading for a year yeah dude crazy times uh what is the video you brought up? yeah so i like to answer everyone's question that's in here so i make sure that i don't get too far behind on you guys um, so that's pretty much on AMC, the, what you guys are looking at here. That's pretty much what I'm looking at for tomorrow. I want to see how we open up in pre-market and which direction we start trending in pre-market. And I think that's going to tell a lot for the day and which way we're going to go. If you guys take a look, um, the everyone, pretty much everyone's buying power is going to be probably reset. If you're like in one of those uh, uh, Robinhood and uh, other brokers um, tomorrow, so you'll be able to go ahead and buy it. Now, uh, someone in my chat room just... Um, put the restrictions from Robinhood still in here, still um, still in, uh, in effect for Robinhood. So for AMC, you can only buy 10 shares or 10 option contracts. And then uh, GME, you can only buy one share or five option contracts. So it is still pretty restrictive as far as what you're able to buy and how much you're able to buy as well. So just be just be aware of that too, okay guys? If you're if you're holding something, make sure and if you want to sell it, that you really want to sell it because you're not going to be able to get in for the, you know, for uh, buy as much as you probably have right now. OK, I think so, dude. Um, G I think that they they are really going to protect uh, GME, dude. And, uh, you know, it's everyone's everyone's best guess. Right. But I do believe GMA, GME will get uh, get going pretty quick. All right. I got five on it, he said. Dude, I'm really pumped up. I'm glad. I'm happy to see you guys too. I want everyone to win, dude. I want everyone to win. So, <laughs> in the GME. Um, all right. So that is the AMC. Got to uh, make sure you, you guys that are watching this, make sure you're watching that 16 level. You're watching the 11 level. I want to see the way that this opens up in pre-market, and then we'll make the decision then at that point. Okay. I'm going to try as much as possible as I'm trading to update my Twitter. So if you guys want to go follow my Twitter, I will update uh, kind of play by plays on what I'm looking at on my Twitter. If you guys want to follow and see what my analysis is, uh, kind of play by play during the day. OK, I also have to train. I have to worry about me making money, too. So make sure that, um, you know, you're just being aware of that. All right. Um, all right. We'll go over SFOR here in a little bit. Uh, just give me a second and um, all right so here on GME the same thing guys I think this uh, so if you come come in and you take it the option contracts that are available in here these uh, they started buying those out the money contracts a little bit um, like a lot more aggressively again 
So if you come and you take a look, there's uh, 5,000 here at um, uh, 5,000 here at 500, and then you could see all the way out here to 800. There's 16,000, dude. 16,000 shares at, uh, or excuse me, 16,000 contracts of open interest on uh, GME as far as right now. And then uh, I haven't really taken a look at this, but it would be interesting to get um, to get the flow algo and actually look at see what sweeps are here in the flow algo here real quick. So give me a second, and we'll look at that. For those of you guys don't, that don't know, Flow Algo is an absolutely awesome tool if you're a newer trader. Uh, it kind of tells you where the big money is positioning themselves, where the smart money is, and then you're able to uh, make a decision on whether you want to follow that big and smart money on the way they're positioning themselves as well. So um, it's kind of like riding, riding their coattails. So um, we'll take a look. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'll get one second. Oops, I put AMD night. So we'll do GME first since we were just talking about GM, uh, GME. So some pretty big uh, put sweeps down here at $80 for these ones already expired. They were for last week. So uh, some big puts here for March. Um, these, this is actually a really good bet. I like this bet right here. And then there were some calls that expired on Friday as well. There is some 10 uh, calls that were bought as well here for 8.9 million. That's, um, I think that's going to be a hedge right there, to be honest. And then, um, so that's uh, kind of crazy flow as far as on GME. And then on AMC here, these, let's see what we have. Ooh, this is a lot different. So look at these 40, uh, 40 calls that are lined up here, these 30 calls that are lined up here uh, as well. And then um, these these already expired on Friday, but these are significant right here, guys. This is your open interest that you're looking at on AMC, and that's what could cause that gamma squeeze if uh, we're able to continue to push AMC further up. That'll, that'll make the market makers have to purchase equity to, to offset the, the amount of contracts that they sold, okay? So that's what we have on uh, on Flow Algo. I advocate 100% for Flow Algo. Um, it's an awesome tool. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to use it, um, send me a DM or email, and we could go over it as well as that as well. And that those March puts are from CNBC. Are you really? Are you serious? Um, all right, cool. So uh, let me see here. All right, let's go over S4 real quick before I forget because I'm an ADD as a mother. Uh, real quick, SFOR. What company is this, dude? Strike Force? Um. Is this like the, the boxing league, like the MMA league or whatever? Uh, this is a penny stock if I've ever seen one, dude. Honestly, bro, like this isn't a bad setup. I mean, we we definitely have the support towards like 46, 50, or 5 cents, or excuse me, I'm a decimal point off. So like 5 cents, 4 cents right here. Uh, I could see where this would start curling up and start going up, dude. So j this is just technically, I don't know much fundamentally about this, uh, about strike force, but your support would be down here at this level, right? Um, around right here about the f uh, point zero four six, and then you would want it to hold there and then and make itself to, to go up then at that point. Cool. Uh, take a look at snow. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay, so then we have, I'm going to go, so is D4 really a ticker, or are you just messing with me? No, I don't know what that is. Um, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so that's something that I'll actually keep, uh, keep a look at as well there, dude. I don't really trade, uh, I don't have the options uh, data to, to trade um, OTCs, but that's definitely interesting for me, the... Um, the um uh that pattern i, I like this uh, compression pattern right here 
um, this is what we like to play in my room uh, for this to if this starts making some higher lows and it could definitely get going to the upside as well especially if they get some news for that zoom so I believe zoom has um, earnings this week right mm, when does zoom have earnings or is it next week I can't find it just real quick out the corner of my eye here guys but uh, it may move in sympathy with uh, Zoom earnings if they get mentioned or anything, all right? So, all right. No, they are a tech company that is going to be doing, yep. And then uh, let's take a look at Snow here, dude. Snow. Uh, this is cybersecurity or like, um, it's cybersecurity and stuff too as well, like cloud cloud sharing or cloud service or whatever right yeah I don't I don't really know too much about this one to be honest I know a few guys in my room actually do trade this but I like this little triple bottom that it's putting in so bottom right here bottom right here and then right here and then basically what you would want is for this to go a little bit more sideways and build that compression you already kind of got that cross here on your MACD so this is a MACD line that's uh, overlaid on my TTM so you already got this cross to the upside. You just wanted to continue making this uh, higher lows here to get the breakout to the upside. So that would be really nice here on snow. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Drew, what's up? Snap, Piton. Uh, yeah, so Snap has earnings this week here, guys. Snap has been absolutely awesome. Uh, this was the last earnings right here. You can see this huge gap that it has. Now it's kind of like in this distribution pattern. Um, I hate to say this, this is kind of a, a head and shoulders right here. So you got your head pattern, shoulder, shoulder here on this side. And uh, we'll have to see what happens, but you want to, you're, you could see your support sitting around here at this 47, 48 area. And that you need it to stay above there for it to still have that bullish case to, for it to move up. But if you look at this on the, on the daily chart, you could see where this is in good compression here to the side where we can get that breakup if they, especially if they announce really good earnings. Now, the thing is, is that in fourth quarter for earnings uh, in, in 2020 is when Joe Rogan started with, um, oh no, I'm thinking of Spotify. Um, so uh, I thought there was someone else that, that was working with Snapchat. Mm, I was way off on that one, but I was thinking of Spotify. So, um, so yeah, so if they are able to report good, good earnings, then this would be really good for this breakout here on this compression, on this macro compression right here, okay? Uh, this dude on YouTube just shouted me out. He said, dude, you need to make more videos. Great insight for real. Bro, that's why I do this stuff, man. That's a really cool comment that he just left on my AMC video. Um, all right. Um, all right, Piton, Piton here, guys. This is interesting here because we have the support and it's almost the same pattern as that snapshot here where you got this head and shoulders right here. It's kind of in this di distribution. It doesn't want to get anything close to that 200. And I think we're kind of just waiting for that earnings. If we're going to come back, you could see where this was, uh, this was previous uh, resistance. It's trying to act as support here in this area. We may come a little bit further down and then um, it w if we need to hold this line in order for us to continue going further up, okay? Um, dude, my comments are going crazy on YouTube right now. Uh, Piton and then PayPal. PayPal, I do like as well, especially with all the crypto talk and um, all the, uh, how do you even say it? Is it Dogcoin or Doycoin? I don't even know how you say it, bro. Like, come on. Um, all the crypto stuff, B, uh, Bitcoin, you guys see XRP? Um, so with all that stuff, uh, PayPal is uh, the first kind of merchant service to accept uh, cryptocurrency and they're reporting earnings this week. So that would be uh, really interesting to see what they're doing. But this is almost the same pattern that we're talking about on Snapchat, just kind of sideways. We need a, um, the way we play, the way we play uh, earnings in my room is we don't play through through earnings. We wait to the day afterwards and then we play the volatility from the move like a mean reversion or continuation the day after the earnings, okay? Um, let's see here, BB and GSX, um, so BB here, this is Blackberry, right? 
This is hard to say, bro, because I see what they're doing here. I've a uh, few guys in my room. I've been talking about this that they're going to be making like batteries now for EV vehicles, or like uh, battery stations and stuff. Um, so, um, I don't, I don't know, dude. Like uh, on that front, I like it, dude. There's a lot of news in here from uh, from the whole from Wall Street bets and stuff and Reddit, um, but. I like that front if they're going to start, you know, changing their business model a little bit to offer EV stuff. You could see right here on the macro that you wanted to hold about this $14. So right here at this $14, you would want it to hold in uh, this. This is kind of um, this is your neckline where it has to stay above in pre-market tomorrow and then for it to bounce to continue going further up tomorrow. OK, so you could see where they they did some work here yesterday on uh, last session on Friday. To hold it, uh, to bounce it from this area, but you would you need it to stay above the 14 in order for it to uh, still hold that bullish uh, thesis. Okay. Uh, damn, there's so many people in here today, guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you guys uh, like the video. Make sure you go subscribe to my Twitter. It's New Age Wall Street, just ST for Street. And um, we also have the giveaway, Darian. If you could put the link for the giveaway for the PS5, so. Everyone can enter. Today's the last day for it. Um, yeah, let's talk about Tesla. So Tesla is actually on my um, on my watch list for this week as well here, bro. So um, this is really interesting the way that this is going. So we have where, uh, and I want to use maybe this four-hour chart a little bit better. So Tesla topped out here at top gave a little love tap to this 900 and then pulled away. I actually caught the downside on Tesla on Friday. And then now we're at this, um, we're putting in some support here at the 780, right? But if you go ahead and you zoom out, you could see where there's, there's um, a volume gap here. So I'll show you with the volume profile. So with the volume profile here, oh, it didn't show. All right, so with the volume profile, the way that the volume profile works is the periods, the price points of high volume, the high volume nodes act as support or resistance. So the, right now, this is going to be the resistance here at the 842, 845 area. And then we have this huge gap where there's no volume, and this kind of just went straight up right here on Tesla. So if we start breaking this area around the 780, um, 750 or so, we have a pretty big gap that we could fill all the way down to 700 if that's if the the overall market starts uh, selling off a lot more. Uh, I didn't even take a look at the um, the futures yet. Yeah, see, like the futures here open up, gap down. Oh, they're making their way up a little bit more right here. They're they're kind of going up. But if the the overall market, like on the spy, is um, has been sliding off like the last last couple of days, last three days, if we continue to go further debt back and correct, this could drag Tesla down, and we have about a hundred points here that we could we could capitalize on to the downside. So I'm actually very, very, dude, like I'm really excited about this move on Tesla. If we hold here and we bounce, great. This is a good place to go ahead and buy in. If we break this level, great. We have 100 points that we could come down here at this point. Now, with that, does anyone follow Kathy Wood? So Kathy Wood is loading up down here at these levels. So she's buying a lot of Tesla down at these levels. I don't know if someone could link the amount. Uh, I know, I just know that I, I did see it in the email on Friday. But she is loading up on the ARK investments here on uh, the ETF for Tesla down here in these lows. So she may, you know, any type of little little downplay here, she may be buy, buying this up and supporting the bounce here on Tesla too. So uh, that's also something to keep uh, keep in mind. Cool. Mm, all right. All right, let me just read in the notes here. Hims. Yeah, so I seen you talking about Hims the other day, hot potato. So this was something that um, I think you were comparing to like Teladoc or something. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but this is, a, this is a pretty nasty spike right here on this four hour chart. But um, I like this dude, I like it. It looks like this, this definitely has some serious momentum. 
I would like a little bit of a pullback. If we get, get down back here to 17 or so in order for me to get in, this would be absolutely awesome. Uh, but these, you could tell anything near 20, it doesn't, it doesn't really want to have anything to do with it just technically on there. I don't, I don't know too much about this, though. Um, oh, look, Kathy Wood invested in this one. That's really cool. All right, cool. Uh, next one. What about Nio? He said so. Nio, um, Nio was doing an offering, and then um, they kind of just petered out here, bro. Like this is a really nice. I'm gonna take away this volume profile now. All right. Uh, so give me a second. So this is a really nice flag right here on uh, Nio. You could see where this this previous resistance right here at this 57, 56 area. It's acting as support now. All the support here in this area, you'd want to start want to see this start holding and start putting in some higher lows again, and then also seeing the compression here. So like if we put in this four hour chart, you could see this, it uh, uh, doesn't really, a little bit too volatile to signal compression, but you'd want this to start putting in more higher lows for it to start uh, breaking up. But I really like this macro flag that we have going on. And uh, I do see where we could continue to go further up on Nile, especially after they, they finish that offering now. Um, we could definitely still see more more upside on it. We need the we need the overall market to bounce, and then uh, we need Tesla to go up as well, and the intention to kind of come back from AMC and GME um, in order for the EV market and stuff to start heating up again. All right. All right. So BB for the win. Uh, rebound coming Tesla Monday, Tuesday. Yep. Um, I, so, yeah, we're watching Tesla for sure tomorrow. And then um, say the G like a J and bougie. So do, jo, Doge, Doge coin. I don't know, bro. Like maybe my Mexican accent's not doing it for me, bro. Apologize. The, the daily chart is a spy currently at 370 support. Your thoughts are I appreciate, bro. You want to just uh, know another mind. Thanks. Yeah, so on the SPY, so right here in this level there is definitely really good support on the SPY so far. Uh, you can see where all this volume was done around this, this area, so we have that volume support, right? So if it gets around in this area, anything towards 365, it's going to be a little bit choppy. But we do have, if it does get anything below that, we can get back down to 350, which would be a nice correction, to be honest. I wouldn't be mad with the correction getting back down to 355, 350 here, guys. So this will be interesting. Like I said, the uh, the futures right now are red, uh, but they are working themselves up a little bit right here. So we have this this hammer candle kind of coming up right now. Cool. What's the level on Tesla again? Uh, so the so right now the one I'm looking at is around right here, 775 to 780. Uh, it has to break below that, and then we have this gap here all the way down to about like 700. Uh, it's Neo, Nio, dude, Neo, Nio, and Bingo was his name Oh, I don't even know, dude. Uh, I really like BYFC. Do you think it's a good buy? Just had a merger deal done. What type of company is it, brother? BYFC? You guys are making me work tonight, bro. This is like, like yeah, there was a time when... I cried because I would stream to myself, and this shit is pretty freaking cool. BYFC. Oops, BYFC. Um, Broadway Financial Court. Name Bank of America press release highlighting investments in minority entrepreneurs. Uh, are they like angel investors? I don't know. Um, this chart, this chart, like just looking at the six months right here, bro. This, um, not that you know, there's spikes in here, but there's not quite a lot of volatility. I do like that it's building this trend to the upside. So any type of catalyst that they come up with, any type of news, I could see where this would, um, this would definitely uh, go ahead and run. They they are starting to build this, this uh, trend to the upside. So. 
not not really something that I necessarily trade. I would like a little bit more minimum volume and something, but I do like this this upside trend here. And like I said, any catalyst could definitely get this over three dollars and then get it going pretty pretty aggressively. I'm just interested, real quick, um, to look at Finviz for it, real quick. Well, give me a second. BYRC. Is it BYFC? Mm. Yeah, they're not too bad of a company, bro. They're they're hundred a hundred grand in debt or something like that. Um, uh, institution to own 15%, no short float really. Yeah, um, there's not too much in here just off the bat that I'm, you know, worried about or anything. So just needs a little bit more catalyst and momentum, dude. Um, all right. Mm. Should take a week, uh, take a look at the weekly chart on the spy. Yeah. So the weekly chart on the spy here, I don't know. What are we looking at? So this is uh yeah dude we could come down here to the 360 i see right here where my um uh my t3 line is so my t3 line is going to be 360 where's um just out of curiosity if i come and i do like a 200 ma So this is a 200 right here on the weekly. Let's do a daily real quick. Yeah, so 342 is the 200. So we have a lot of room right here, dude. We have a lot of room that, that you know, I could definitely pull back from. So, um, all right. Um, all right. Uh, what about IPO? NMDM, yeah, dude, I see you guys loving NMDM. Uh, Kathy, Kathy Wood is loving NMDM. I love this pullback that we got so far at NMDM right here, bro. So this is what you want to see, this compression right here. It's holding support here around this 1350 level. All we got to do is start curling back up, and then uh, we're good to go. So I do. Uh, the, it may not do it tomorrow, but maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, we could start seeing this kind of kind of start moving back up to the other way. So I do, I do like the NMDM. I do like the whole, um, it's 3D printing, right? So the whole 3D, 3D printing and um, Kathy Wood's really into it. So I see the, I see the, the value in um, an NMDM here. So this pullback right here is a gift. I would say load up once you, you get this compression and the trigger of the MACD crossing to the upside. Definitely load your boat right here. NMDM. CCIV, dude, CCIV is a hard one. Um, this is the one that's a car manufacturer, right? Um, or they're going to finance a car manufacturer or something like that, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they're not releasing any news and they're not really, they're being really hush hush about it. Honestly, dude, like right here, this is actually looking really good, bro. This, I like this breakout right here. If we could get above 2350 or so. Um, if we could get back of here, we're signaling compression, this cross that I like, and we could start curling back around. We may uh, make kind of like a cup and handle pattern. So once we get towards this like 25, we may pull back a little bit and then continue going further up. Yeah, loosen motors. Exactly. Awesome. Look at the monthly on this spot. I don't have a monthly. Show me a picture. Someone show me a picture of the spy on the monthly. Definitely a possibility AMC could hit $20 tomorrow. We'll have to see. Uh, so pre-market will tell a lot on AMC tomorrow, guys. Um, watch out on pre-market. Watch the volume tomorrow. Watch for the areas that it starts pulling back at and the resistance that it comes in. Make sure you're taking, you're taking good notes on those guys. And, um, and we'll, uh, if we could get over $16, $20 definitely on the map. And if we're over $20, then all this open interest that is in AMC here. So if you guys just finished watching the, that video, um, all this open interest right here at $20 is 
um, in the money at 32000 and then they're going to have to start buying more in order to offset those contracts that were sold or push the price further down. So just be be aware of that, okay? Um, we went over NIO, LAC. We'll go over LAC real quick. Uh, LAC. Lithium. It's lithium. Um, yeah, so this caught some good support here where this uh, was previous support here where this uh, came up, pulled back. Same thing right here. Now, you got to watch out for kind of like this bear flag right here that it doesn't reject $20 and then continue further down uh, with this spike kind of head and shoulder right here. Um, so it needs to get over $20 again to, to fit that bullish thesis again here on this LLC, uh, LAC. So um, just you see these spikes up here towards 20. It has to uh, a close over 20 and for it to stay over 20 would mean a lot to LAC. IPOE. Ooh, this one's pretty interesting. Oh, uh, this is just a, this is an IPO. Social cap, Hedo Sophia. So far, is this, what company is this, brother? Someone tell me what company this is. Yes, sir. Uh, Discord. Yeah, we, I have a Discord. I have a Discord channel that uh, my my group and my memberships are through. If you guys want to sign up, um, I, my website is newagewallstreet.com. We'd be honored to have you guys. So if you guys want to actually learn some technical analysis and things like that, um, we'd be happy to show you you know some some tricks and things that we have in uh, also software. All the indicators that I use to here on my screen also come with your membership if you want to sign up. Um, so that's that's a value in itself. All the custom indicators to show momentum and show trend uh, that you're seeing right now. Okay. Um, all right. Mm, okay. AMC, AMC. You want money by AMC, AMC? Um, any thoughts, dude? It's cool to see like you guys like so pumped like. It's so cool that um, just to take a quick break from the stock thing, like there was a lot of like like hate and everything over the whole political stuff of the the um, the election and everything, and it's cool to see everyone be able to come together for a common cause and leave everything kind of you know on the back burner for all that stuff, and to be able to you know set differences aside and have a common goal. It's really freaking cool, dude. Really freaking cool. BNGO. Yeah, I like this right here too, dude. Uh, I like this right here. So you can see where this was resistance. Now acting as support, it's starting to curl up right here. I actually really like this, the bio nano ge genomics. I like this, dude. It's signaling compression. Yeah, this is, a, this is actually a really nice setup. I'm gonna put it here on my watch list too. Uh, personal. Uh, BNGO. All right, cool. Um, all right, there's that. What do you? So, all you guys that are holding AMC, do you guys have a goal on what you want to like do with your money if you, AMC hits? You guys got to remember, it's not how much you make; it's how much you keep. So, make sure you once you make your money, wire it out. Make sure you put it to whatever you're wanting to on your account. Okay. Uh, Discord social capital major value info overload yeah bro it's a lot dude I I I surprise myself sometimes that I actually know all this stuff yes A R K K I love Kathy Kathy um let me see thoughts on Nio I don't Neo Nio whatever someone just I was getting flamed on how I said it. I like it, dude. 
I think it's going to grow a lot, especially when they start producing and uh, start selling in the United States. I like I like Neo. Um, since AMC still has a ton of debt, do you think it would increase the purchase shares that AMC could dilute more shares? It's in the mix. I'll set more of this debt. That's a good, really good question, dude. So I took a deep dive into the fundamentals of, uh, or excuse me, the filings of AMC, right? And this was something that I was showing uh, my members last week um, on what to look for and things like that. So if you want to come into BAMSEC, so BAMSEC right here is where you, um, it basically takes the Edgar filings from the SEC. So you could come to the Edgar filings um, and the SEC. And the thing is, is that it's all, it's all out of whack the way that it's in here. The, it, it goes in like chronological order. So, um, uh, I think I had the wrong one. Here it is. So, uh, so like AMC, right? So this just goes in chronological order from the last things that were filed, right? So the, ooh, they filed, someone filed something here on uh, Friday. We'll take a look at that. So it's really hard to find what you're looking for when it goes in chronological order. So BAMSEC is a really nice website. You do have to sign up uh, for a membership to get all the information, but it does give a lot of information in here with even without the, um, even without a membership. So uh, must asset management, it looks like they filed for ownership. So, um, This usually means that they bought um, they u they bought a significant amount or they sold a significant amount of the sh the shares. Uh, oh, this is GameStop. GameStop. So AMC. So AMC right here, this is the 13, there he goes, there's the 13D. So I believe, let's see. Here it is. So this is a transaction of class A common stock by SLACM Avatar Holdings, so they could, oh, they, they actually converted 33 million shares, it looks like, they, they, uh, they finished on Friday, dude, or Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, so they just offloaded a whole bunch of those shares, they finished that offering, brother, this is, uh, I'm glad you brought this up, this is really important right here, where they, uh, they finished that offering, and, uh, and now these people own, um, uh, own all these shares. So, but to answer your question, absolutely, they would be absolutely stupid not to take advantage and do another offering. I don't know how that would that would work. Um, I know that they're only allowed to raise so much capital within a certain amount of time. I don't know what the rule is. I forget what the rule is, but, um, oh, they, look, they did file one. They did file one here on uh, on Monday. Yeah, so they could definitely, so they could actually start dumping more shares onto the market here, guys. So that that's something that you guys want to be um, be aware of here as well. So they did. Um, um, yeah, so they they could definitely do another offering here, um, probably even tomorrow, probably in pre market as well. All right. Uh, appreciate you being patient. Let's go over Jagex, J A J A G X. I've seen a few people playing this. This is still further up. This is actually a really nice uh, macro compression right here, dude. It's kind of on a downward uh, downward trend right here. Uh, I believe this is biopharmaceuticals, right? Yep, Jag Jaguar Health. This is something that I used to play back in my small cap days where it would just pop up and go away. Now things are a little bit different. I would say if it stays over $3, dude, this could stay bullish. If It has to get over $3 again tomorrow in order for it to stay bullish. If it pops up tomorrow and fades, then I would just leave it alone. You going to reinvest your money? Yeah, they got the ATM on. Uh, what's up? Buy so much. 
what's the advice on how much to keep keep all your your funds dude keep all your funds i'm just a hold to I, then just hold to the moon yep buy buy some hot cheetos fuck yeah i love hot cheetos dude we gotta get the limon ones uh been with well, a while hard to not let it ride sometimes yeah dude um that's like the the hardest thing as a trader is holding on to your profits for as long as possible but make sure you don't get greedy make sure you do pay yourself on the way okay uh, would it be all right to get in GME if you don't have any tomorrow? Uh, you would need a you would need a decent sized dip in GME, dude. So you would need a decent sized dip in GME in order to get in tomorrow. That's the only way I would feel uh, confident in it. So if you come to like this hourly chart, if we got somewhere towards 250 again, bro, and we and we held 250, absolutely go ahead and buy it. If this pops up and it's near 400, 350 or something, don't don't do it at that point. Erase debt, buy a membership, work for yourself. Dude, that's it, bro. That's it, dude. Be a trader and uh, all that. Oh, they sold ATM? Yeah, dude. Hakeem. For Jimmy, just buy and hold. Okay. Jimmy, too. I mean, Jimmy shares, too. Raise capital is good for the stock, right? Yeah, it's good for the stock, dude. Like, But the thing is, is that um, they need... So GameStop needs to majorly change their business model uh to something else to who knows maybe they start manufacturing batteries for fucking ev vehicles like everyone else right now uh as well dude i don't i don't fucking know dude but like they need to change their business model dramatically in order to stay in business because then they're just going to still be burning the money that they're they're raising right now uh amc dip at the open i would like to see the way that it, it reacts to pre-market make sure you guys are following me on twitter i'll give you updates um in real time on twitter as much as possible okay i would love for gme to get to 1k guys that would be absolutely awesome this is thinkorswim this is thinkorswim right here it's free if you go to thinkorswim.com uh you do have to make a td ameritrade account and then you have to um, ask them for real-time data. But this is Thinkorswim, and then all the indicators on here it are actually coded by AD squared, AD2, who you see in here. Um, he is my boy. He custom coded all the stuff for our room, and it's part of uh, part of your membership if you join the New Age Wall Street room as well. How did I learn all this technical analysis, dude? I almost blew my brains out in depression, and instead I. I learned stocks instead of instead of committing suicide. I locked myself in a room for a year and I I, I taught myself how to trade. And then I had great mentors such as Charlie AD squared um, to show me some things along the way as well. Uh, if you had to recommend one short graph for this week, what would it be? Tesla if it breaks 780, dude. Tesla and if the spy and uh, Tesla at the spy it doesn't hold up and uh, it doesn't hold above 780. Tesla to the downside for 100 points, 80 points. Uh, what do you recommend? One short grab. Yep. Tesla to the ground. It's hard. It's hard to bet against Tesla like that, man. It's hard to be a contrarian trader against Tesla because it is definitely very, very strong. Tesla did pay nice on Friday. I took that trade. I laid that out. I laid that out for my members. 842. I told them. Load the boat, mortgage your house, and sell your dog. Get in at 842, I told them on uh, on Tesla. If you had to recommend one short grab, hey, dude, what's the price you think AMC will sell at? I, I'm not sure. Dude. Like, That's one thing is um, I could only tell you the technical analysis, guys. I can't. I don't have a crystal ball to tell you like actual price points. I could just tell you areas of interest of what to look for whenever you're trading the stock and whenever you're trying to whenever you're trying to um, uh, make decisions. Right now, $16 is your area of interest. You can see where it got slammed here on Thursday morning, and then here twice on uh, Friday, and then anything under 11 is your area of interest as well. Yes. Uh, so dude, um, honestly, like you could learn to trade without trading real money. Please don't, 
jump in with you know your money and start thinking that you trade with real money build some consistency with the simulator you could you could sim trade on thinkorswim you could sim trade on uh I, the ibkr platform uh you you could pay a little bit of money and use the das platform for a demo account it's invaluable the the time and effort and experience that you'll get in in trading with the simulator especially during these times please don't try to go guns to the wall if you're brand new within this last week month or so um trading and think that you know you're going to be successful within a day to a week or so i've been doing this for five years guys and i i still fuck up i still make you know i still make um mistakes uh in august i lost eighty thousand in one trade um it's an ever it's an ever going learning experience learning how to trade guys and it it makes you into a better person because you need to develop that self-discipline and habits as well awesome guys oh look why yeah so I think I think Darian's actually going to post a link for you guys here for um, for you guys if you guys want to sign up for for my chat room. Uh, I think he's going to discount it um, for the uh, so we were doing a lifetime sale. If you guys want to sign up for it, uh, the lifetime was two two hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, if you guys want to sign up, we'd be happy to have you guys. I think he's going to throw that up here for you. Uh, we'll also throw it up on the on the Twitter as well here after we're done here. All right. I don't trade crypto, brother. I won't. I won't talk on crypto because I don't have experience on it. Unlike these other gurus and furus and whoever else, dude. If I don't have experience in it, bro, I have. I have enough balls to say I don't have enough experience in it, and I won't talk about it, dude. The lifetime. You guys will have a. Can you walk us through how you create your levels on your charts? Absolutely. Uh, do you have a chart that you want me to go over on right now? Let's take this BNGO. This was a good one. So the way that I lo wo work through all my charts is I try to go through the most macro time frames that I could. So you start as, mo um, as macro uh, with the biggest time frame that you can. And then you look for the period, the, the points where the price action respected those levels. So you guys could see where the price action respected this level right here, where it didn't want to go any further down right here in this level, right? So I'd come over, draw my line here at this level right below that $4. And you could see whenever it built that spike above right here, it didn't want to stay above that $4 as well. Then you would come and you could say like, okay, this is another support area right here in this area where it didn't want to break down below until it did in this area, right? Then you look for your resistance level. So this um, right here, so you, uh, you could see right here at this $4, uh, a little bit over $4, this was your resistance level twice. So it hit that period twice and it respected that area of interest and it pulled away from it, right? Same thing right here. Then you come down and you come to your more, um, you come to your more micro uh, chart, which is like a year, right? So there's not much down here. We're not gonna be doing too much. Uh, the price action isn't gonna go back below a dollar, you know, w without it going very quickly, right? Now, so what you wanna see, these are the lines that we already drew so that you could see where the price action respected here. And then you could also see like in this, in this area where the price action respected twice, uh, this was resistance. And then right here was resistance as well, right? And then uh, right here was resistance, now is acting as support. And then this top right here, obviously you gotta put the, uh, the high, you gotta put as resistance. And then you come down, you come do another, uh, come a little bit further down and all your lines should line up. So you see how your lines line up with the ones that I put in so far? So this one lines up right here with support. This one's your support right here through this volume. And then right here is your resistance, resistance, resistance. And then you could go a little bit more micro as well. So you could go to 15 minutes and then you could come and do like these more micro type uh, areas right here. So you could see right here on this 15 minute around this 1140 uh, area was a resistance. Um, and then you just keep on going. You keep on going uh, all the way until you get into like a, a one minute chart. And then you could see where like in this area on the, on the uh, uh, re support here. So you could see where the press action respected this area, this area, and then also this area right here. So you know that this is a level of interest whenever the press action comes down. 
cool. I didn't buy naked. No, I don't buy naked. To be 100% honest with you guys, I trade more. I trade more. Um, I trade more high beta stocks. Trade more high beta stocks like Tesla, Netflix, um, Baba, Facebook. We trade those with options. Feeling with AMC tomorrow? I'm with you guys. I really wanted to go further up, but I'm watching the $16 level tomorrow. Dude. <sighs> This is the most I've ever had in a live stream, guys. This is freaking awesome, bro. Like, awesome to have you guys all here. SNDL. I heard that SNDL got um, restricted as well by Robinhood and all that, right? Uh, this is a sub dollar ticker. Uh, this is a little bit rough. So right here, so this is where your resistance was, and this is where the area where it's respecting, it's respecting a support. You would you would want this to stay above eighty cents tomorrow, dude. If you're looking at this, it's SNDL, right? Yeah, SNDL. So you want it to stay above there, the eighty eighty dollar uh, eighty cent mark. Sundial, yeah, Sundial. Um, oh, they just did an offering like a, a week or two ago. Is this um, is this marijuana? Is this a marijuana um, ticker? I thought about buying Dan Bazarian's ticker just for fun, just you know maybe put like a thousand or five thousand dollars in it, uh, just for fun to see if it'll go up, um, like eventually, like you know just leave it there and see it, you know come back to it. Uh, apparently they hired a new CEO and they're they're doing pretty well, so <clears throat> I, I've thought about doing that since. Um, just for fun, just to see if it, you know, where it goes or whatever. But um, Nokia, Nokia, dude, is a no trade for me, bro. Uh, I don't like the way this is, this spike was way too big, and it came back way too soon. So this is what we call rockets return to the launch pad. So this is your rocket came up; it already returned to your launch pad right here, dude. Your this is this is a no go here on uh, NOK. Uh, so, uh, Joseph, what chart on which one to tell me again, dude, I'm going a little bit slower to, I can't keep up with you guys. WKHS. I love WKHS, dude. I think they're going to get, um, <clears throat> they're going to get more of those EV contracts from the, from the government. Um, yeah. So even, uh, Kathy Wood is in here in WKHS. I like this brother. I like this here with this compression, this flag to the upside. I think we're ready to go start curling up and start breaking out here on this uh, WKHS. I really like it. Yes, Mary Jane Ticker. I like it, dude. That SNDL, I like it as long as it could stay above 80. Thoughts on it. Uh, can AMC hit 30 tomorrow? If, th if AMC gets to 30 tomorrow, I will get diamond tattooed on my hand, bro. You have my word. If AMC gets to 30 tomorrow, I'll fucking do that shit. I... I for it to double in price like that, even or a little bit more than double in price like that, you're asking a lot, especially with all the restrictions that are coming on the market. So uh, coming from the the brokers and things like that. Um, AMC, we're AMC. We're watching the sixteen dollar level for it to break sixteen to get to twenty, and then the eleven dollars it needs to stay above eleven dollars, dude. It gets it gets it really aggressively bought up anytime it dips um, towards the towards the twelve dollar mark. You could see any time on the tape when you're reading the tape and you get to the twelve dollar mark here, it gets bought bought up at extremely aggressively any time it dips right here. Uh what do you think of AMC? Your thoughts on uh, um CRTM? Mm, this doesn't come up for me. CRTM. Yeah, that one doesn't come up. What I think AMC going to be like this week? Yeah, it. Uh, um, the thing is, is that now we have all these uh, algorithms that are that are trading it. That's why the, it has the high volume. Uh, you gotta be cognizant when something starts going and it looks to be too perfect in a slope direction. 
that's an algo that's an algo that's driving the price whenever you start seeing like a up and down motion like in a trend up that that's humans doing that humans aren't as perfect as an algo that's on a slope to move a trend uh a ticker on a trend up so be cognizant whenever you're looking at amc trading if it starts ripping in a direction and it's on a like a, a it looks too perfect on the incline like the way that it's doing that's that's an algorithm that has a hold of it that's going to do it and uh, the thing is is that the way the algorithm works is that and the market makers also work is that they will drop the ticker at a moment's notice like in a split second to to bring it back into the liquidity in order for them to buy back down and then continue the trend back up you got to be careful and you got to be cognizant and you got to be aware of those things uh not just some hot cheetos just get some hot cheetos uh dude hot cheetos bro i'm too old bro i get like um heartburn now when i eat hot cheetos bro i like them but dude uh point of interest on tesla we're looking at it to break the 780 right here bro 780 to 785 and then we're looking for this point, uh drop to like 705 to 700 bro if it breaks down and if the spy breaks down tomorrow then that's what it is but generally the um generally the um Generally, the uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Mondays are pretty bullish generally, so we'll see. We will see. AMC hitting three hundred, dude. Honestly, if they allowed if they allowed AMC to trade organically, absolutely, dude. If there was no restrictions from Robinhood or anything like that, and they allowed it to trade organically, then absolutely. uh i go live every friday so if you guys want to trade with me live on fridays i trade live on fridays you could uh it's like being an honorary member of my room it looks like this if you guys want to take a look so you'll see my chart and how i execute here so to the to the um to the side of me and then right up above you get to be an honorary member and be able to interact with my um the actual members of my chat room and you'll be able to see like the way that they call out tickers and the way that they interact with each other and you could kind of see the com camaraderie as well in our room so every friday at 9 a.m eastern if you want guys want to come back and trade live with us uh, we do it every friday if you want to come out tomorrow i'm going to be focusing on my community i will tweet as much as i could um, during pre-market i will be here bright and early i will give live tweet updates as much as possible if you want to um, follow me on twitter it's new age wall street just st for street okay do you know how do you know that if you don't mind me asking how do i know what the algo traders uh, uh, I have I could tell you, but I I have to kill you. Sorry, dude. It's just experience, brother. It's it's a lot of experience. I'm 43. That's for kids. No takis, no hot Cheetos. Yeah, dude. My son loves takis and hot Cheetos, dude. But um, getting old, getting that you know heartburn and. Uh, I just I just can't do it. I do like them though. I ate like pepperoni pizza yesterday and it freaking hurt. Yeah, we went over Nokia. Nokia is a no trade. The rocket already returned to the launch pad. That's a no trade, brother. The thing with silver, bro, I don't trade commodities. I'm really excited to see what it, you know comes to pass with uh, the whole silver thing. I get the goal. I get the goal, but I don't know if um, you know. I don't know if Reddit people and everyone all together has enough buying power to take out commodities and to be able to raise the price on silver like that. So it'd be interesting. I'm gonna sit sidelines since I don't have enough, enough experience trading commodities like that, and I will take notes on the whole uh, silver thing since I am not experienced in it. uh yeah dude um actually darian darian is my assistant who is in here he has told me if we get enough interest i could do lives on monday instead of friday because fridays have been kind of lame as of lately to be 100 percent honest so i'd be happy to move it to monday uh do i host classes i do have a chat room uh, if you go to newagewallstreet.com if you want to join up i believe uh darian just posted a link somewhere 
um, for we have a lifetime membership for two ninety nine, and he has the annual membership for like one forty nine right now. If you guys want to want to sign up with us, and uh, we'd be we'd be happy to have you. Um, XRP, I don't trade crypto either, dude. Uh, not I'm not. The thing is, that I'm not informed well enough uh, about the whole XRP thing because I know that they have they have a um, a lawsuit going on, right? So I would have to do some research and uh, understand what exactly the lawsuit is over and what exactly is going on with it. Um, but I see a lot of people. Uh, I don't. Can we see a XRP chart? I wonder if I could pull one up. Here we go. Here's XRP. Yeah, so here's the breakout here on XRP. So the high was around this 36 cents. And now this thing is just freaking ripping, dude. Uh, everyone should have bought XRP instead of the Dogecoin or Dogecoin or whatever the hell it is, dude. Um, this thing is just absolutely ripping. So um, honestly, I'll plug my guy, Foosh Trading. If you guys uh, look for Foosh Trading on YouTube, uh, he's doing a lot with uh, crypto right now. I learned a lot from him when I was a newer trader. Um, so I would go follow that. I'm just not well informed enough on the XRP and crypto stuff to, to talk too much on it. NCNA. Oh, bro. So this is a nice downward wedge right here, bro. I like this, uh, this channel that this is in. So if we go something like this, right? Uh, more like that like that so we have this downward wedge right here so you need this to break above six dollars for a confirmation for you to go get in in this uh this uh ncna i don't really know what this is just you're doing some quick te technical analysis and reading this chart you need it to hold the support at uh, 550 and then break over six for it to continue going i don't have a long-term portfolio brother i fucked up whenever um I fucked up whenever the whole uh, COVID thing happened. And when we got to the bottom, I was waiting for a pullback and the pullback never came for me to build a long-term portfolio. I trade, I trade momentum day, uh, I momentum day trade, dude. Uh, Foos, so Cameron Foos, so Foos trading. So uh, tell him I, New Age Wall Street sent you guys and uh, tell him we want to partner with him. <laughs> How many day trade notices a trader? So we are not necessarily a trade alert service, dude. I don't do trade alerts. I teach you how to trade. I teach you how to read charts. I teach you how to be um, a self-sufficient trader and how to read the charts and make your own calls. I give my, every morning, I give my watch list and I give my pre-market plan on three to five of the best tickers that I see for the day. And then I trade those and I call out whatever I see uh, from that. If it's a if it's a busy day, we could have upwards of 10, 20, you know, different trades. If it's a slow day, we might not trade anything at all that day. But my goal is to teach you to be a self-sufficient trader where you don't need me to give you alerts. I trade. I've been trading full time for uh, three years now, about almost three years now. Yes. So uh, I, I, we have five setups in my room, five proprietary setups and patterns that we look for. And you're, it gives you the ability to go ahead and make trades in any type of environment. So if we have a bullish environment, great. We have, we have patterns for that. If we have a bearish environment, we have setups for you to look for it for that. And then we also have, um, what would you say, kangaroo market type conditions where we could see breakouts and things like that as well. Everybody wants to be a trader, bro. Everyone want to be a gangster, but when it's time to be a gangster, where is everybody? Absolutely, dude. Um, please, guys, it's a very lucrative. Uh, talking from my heart here, guys, it's a very lucrative, uh, very rewarding um, job. But like with anything, guys, you, you, a doctor and a lawyer didn't become a doctor and a lawyer overnight or within a week, dude. It takes time. It takes time and a lot of effort. It takes 
your family and other people that you have relationships being supportive of you, and most of the time they're not going to be. Uh, get a mentor. So if you're looking to start trading uh, seriously, get a mentor. So a mentor that actually gives a shit and gives a fuck about you and cares about your success and not just about your money, get a mentor that actually gives a shit about you um, to be successful. So um, that's going to shorten your learning curve, and they're going to be able to give you the, the rules and give you, um, give you guidance on what to avoid so that you don't make the same mistakes that they did. What is, what are we, how can I see your trades for the day or how far as you think it looks good? So I share my screen like this every day. So like the way that you see my screen, you see my screen like this every day when, if you were to become a member and then I, I trade live and then I show my PL and I show my executions at the end of the day. I'll, I'll, and then I show my thought process as well. We also do a daily recap. So I do a daily recap to go over my trades as well. Uh, as long as that there was trades to go over, if it was a slow day, I don't do a recap. And, um, and uh, so then you could go back and we have a library of uh, those types of videos for you to go back and study as well. I didn't see the, I try to pull up CT, is it CTRM? Maybe you said CRTM. Yeah, I think you said CRTM. Um, I think we missed the boat on this one, brother. This was a huge cup and handle right here. And then we got this breakout to get over a dollar and this, this kind of pulled back. So you would need this to, to kind of go sideways again against this uh, 60 cents or so in order for it to start going up. But I do like these higher lows. So low, low, low. And uh, for it to start building this, the, for it to get over a dollar, this is going to uh, do a distribution pattern against the dollar and then, and then break out again. Yeah, my members are right here in the in the in the in the um, in the chat right now, guys. Um, so, um, if you have any questions, they you know they'll tell you firsthand what their experience is. Do I consider myself a great a good mentor? I, I'm told I'm a pretty good mentor, bro. I really give a shit. Like uh, I make, uh, honestly, if you guys go look at like um, how much. Uh, I just recently upped the price of my um, of my memberships, but uh, before I wasn't making any money on it. Like now, I have employees that help me out, so and uh, you know things like that. So I have to pay them. So now the now I have a little bit of overhead where I have to you know have other people depending on me. Um, but I really give a shit about my my members. I really as much effort as you put into it, I will put into you and being successful. If you don't care and you're just there to, you know, get alerts, great. You know, you could pay your membership to just get alerts and, you know, whatever. If you want to put in the time and effort and ask questions, join the member only webinars every Saturday. Um, I am here at the office. This is actually the trade factory. If you guys uh, take a look. So this is actually, um, uh, this is actually my office right here. I, l I live in Albuquerque. And so if you want to come as a member and you want to sit at the desk and want to sit alongside me here with me at my office, you could come trade with me here in Albuquerque. Uh, Drew is in here. Drew was in here a little bit ago. He came and traded with me. He was only a member for two weeks and he came and he traded with me in the office. But this office, I call, so the office is called the Trade Factory and this is what it's meant for. So for traders to come in and trade alongside with me. So if you're a new trader, if you're an experienced trader, if you're a member, if you're not a member, you could come and you could hang out. You could sit side by side with me and learn how to trade uh, along with me. So there's uh, sit and stand desks. We have multiple monitors. You could see back there. I have more desks coming. And then we have another 3,500 square feet of the outside of this room. There's a pool table out there. We have like a 100 inch TV out there, the view of Albuquerque. It's a dope spot, bro. It's a dope spot if you guys want to come trade. And that's what I wanted it was to make an area for traders to come and be able to, yeah, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So um, make a place where if you want to come and uh, trade then you, and be a, alongside like-minded people, we have the trade factory here where you could come and trade with me. So. How much money do you need to start trading? You, you could start trading for free. You don't need any money to start trading. You could start learning for free. You don't, um, you don't, you don't know, um, 
you don't have to uh, be, um, you don't have to put money in it to um, uh, start trading. Now you do have to have money to fund an account eventually whenever you're ready to start trading real money. And uh, the more money, the better is the easier that it's going to be for you to do. <coughs> Uh, I'll give you guys the 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 stuff here one second. All right. Um, thoughts on J and J with the vaccine results? Goodbye when they are down or stay away. Um, I don't like J and J, dude. It just moves really, really freaking slow, dude um it's it's a good value i think the this was uh, like some vaccine stuff where they had trouble with the vaccine but absolutely if it's down here and you could buy you know at a at a discount abs absolutely go ahead and buy it um it's not necessarily something i trade because it does trade you know pretty pretty slowly so uh here is the um the lifetime membership here guys uh as well i'll go ahead and pin it for you guys um there we go uh trying to keep up with your guys's comments was a lot of time yep yeah we're here we, how do you find how do you find these stocks before they run flow algo so flow algo if you guys want me to go over flow algo here real quick with you guys this is flow algo so Basically, the way Flow Algo works is whenever there's out of the money options or even in the money options uh, contracts that are being bought, it, they're called sweeps. So you can see where it says sweeps right here, and there's also block ones as well. Uh, and just a real quick overview: there's a lot of in. So the SEC doesn't doesn't regulate insider trading within the options um, within the options market or the derivative market. So if a CEO or like some type of insider knows that a company is going to be making some type of big move, in order for them to capitalize on it, most of the time they buy options. And whenever they buy those options, they show up on here on, the, on a call sweep. So that you can see the call sweeps in here before the stock actually starts moving. And then the news will get released like the next day. And you're able to, you're able to actually get in with them whenever you see these call sweeps come through and it goes through. So this is the way that we catch moves before they happen is usually with the flow algo. It also builds a lot of conviction in your trade. So if you're in a trade and you start seeing and hearing um, the, the ticker that you're trading coming through pretty aggressively, then you know that you got some bigger money backing the direction that you're wanting the ticker to move. Does that make sense? I have a video on flow algo too. If you guys go to my channel, I have a video on Flow Algo that goes a lot more in depth into it. Uh, if you guys want to go watch it too, so um, Fubo, Fubo's really good, dude. Fubo's really uh, shorted as well, right? So I was looking at this. So we got kind of like this uh, weird. We had this little bump up here. So, but this cup little handle back and now we have the support that put in at this 40 so if this could hold this 40 dollars here dude we could get make another run to 50 and if we break above this 50 this could continue going further up so i really do i really do like that why is darian calling me send me a text darian oh uh, so no screen share. Sorry, guys. Let's do it like that. Okay. So here on Fubo, what I was talking about was this uh, big cup and handle kind of pattern. We had this little pump up here, but this cup handle down right here. This is your support here around this $40 mark, right? So as long as it holds $40, this could start curling back around, and it's already signaling compression right here. Once this MACD crosses, that's your confirmation, and then this could get as uh, once it breaks over 50, then you're good to go. We get those uh, that move here to the upside. We got the the highs to worry about, and then we got them move to the upside. I do like that Fubo move as well. We've been playing that a lot in the room too. How much money did I start with? I started with two thousand dollars, dude. How do you join? I just, uh, I just, um, 
I just posted the link up above here, guys. If you guys want to send me an email as well, my email is uh, cruise at newagewallstreet.com. And I will get you the links if you want to send me an email too. Um, everything's going a little bit fast in the chat right here. Yo. What's up from Ireland? We, ha we have a member. One of our moderators is actually from Scotland or Ireland as well. Bring back the trade floors. I would love to be on a trade floor, brother. I would love to be on a trade floor. Oh, you're from New Mexico? Yeah, come trade with me, brother. If you're around, uh, if you're around here in Albuquerque, come trade with me, dude. I am here at 6 a.m. every morning. Uh, yes, AMC could hit twenty dollars tomorrow. Awesome. So there's my email as well, there, guys. Uh, if you guys want to see my email, um, nice to meet you, Cesar. Stockcast to the moon, Drew said. I love my members, bro. Absolutely, brother. Even if you're not a member, I want to build a community together, guys. Um, I want to build a community of New Age Wall Street. I want you guys to be properly educated um, in how to trade. So sign up for the Facebook group. We also have the Facebook group, um, and we will give out, out information if you guys want to ask questions on there. For free, I will answer as much as I could. I will not give any type of proprietary information about our setups or anything like that. But I will ask. Uh, I will help you with a, um, a foundation for you to get started trading in there and answer every question. I answer every single DM. I answer every single email. I answer everything, guys. So if you guys um, sign up anywhere, like on my Twitter, on the Facebook group, so we could start building the community outside of my um, outside of my just my Discord chat absolutely awesome so then i could help you guys and give you guys the proper guidance and education as well am i bullish on american airlines i know they had a lot of flow last week yeah this was pretty nuts dude mm. i would say long term i am I would say long term I am, dude. So uh, as soon as COVID is over, if you wanted to take some leaps uh, to get back up here, absolutely. Uh, plane travel is not going anywhere. Uh, I do like it. No Telegram or WhatsApp group, unfortunately, dude. Uh, but just go if you look up for the um, look up uh, New Age Wall Street Facebook group, and uh, and we could go over it. Realistic opening for G, uh, GME tomorrow, dude. Oh, bro. Um, this is a sick freaking pendant formation right here, bro. This compression that's going on. So like this. Like this. It needs to break out of this huge, uh, this huge diamond shape that we have right here. So if you take a look. Oops. Like that. Right here. So this this diamond shape that we have right here on uh, GME, it needs to be either break above this 330 to 350 or below here under the 300 and break this 250 in this area. So I want to see how this opens up in pre-market, but uh, it could get definitely very, very wacky and aggressive in pre-market tomorrow. Uh, URG. This is going to be the last ticker. Uh, we went over SNDL, brother. Uh, SRG. Mm. What do these people do? Properties? Are they alright? Is it? A, I don't know. I like this uh, uptrend right here. This this higher low. If this if this could build a support down here at this eighteen and seventeen level, and then um, start to break out above these highs again of like twenty dollars and get above this area of twenty five. I absolutely do love that because there's a huge gap up here in the in this in this area. So long term I do like this uh SRG and for me to play momentum uh like I usually do, I don't. But if you wanted to play this a little bit more long term, I do like this uh this one here. Yes, any any dips down here towards two fifty I would buy. 
as long as it holds around the level on 250 uh, on um, on GME. Diamond hands, bro. I told you guys if uh, AMC gets to 30 tomorrow, I'll get diamonds tattooed on my on my hands. SNDL, we went over, dude. Um, I think I said if it stays above the sixty dollar mark or sixty cents, excuse me, or eighty eighty cents, excuse me, eighty cents. So it needs to stay above this eighty cents. If it could close above eighty cents tomorrow, we could build the, the bullish thesis in order for this to continue to move, make its move up. We got this nice trend right here with these higher lows, and if we we continue, you could see right here where this was previous resistance. It needs to act as support, and then for this to start curling up to go up around this way. Uh, uh, you could do it as both, honestly, dude. You could do stock trading as a side hustle or as you know your your main thing. The thing is, is that I would say that stock trading, guys. If you guys want to be a stock trader. It's a means to an end, dude. It's very, very stressful. It means a lot of studying. It means a lot of, a lot of stress, and that stress, that stress gets uh, put onto our relationships that we have with other people. So if you have a wife, a girlfriend, if you have kids, sometimes you're so stressed out you take that that out on them be on a loss or you know something like that, and that's that's really sad and um that's not the type of life that you want so you most people want to start trading to improve their quality of life and in turn it does it does put a little bit of a number on it so i would say trading is a means to an end you can do it as a side hustle as you're working a normal job just you know to um, build more income you could also do it as a normal uh you know everyday job as a like, like i do i'm a i'm a full-time trader but the thing is, is that eventually you want to put your money into other investments, maybe real estate, another business, um, other things that you can, that'll make you passive income so you could actually enjoy your life and not be stressed out. And the cool thing is, is that trading is a skill. So trading is like riding a bike. It's a skill. If you ever need it, it's in your toolbox. You could always come back and you could always trade and you could always make money on the market. Anthony, welcome. Are leaps much more profitable? I like, uh, yes, I do like the idea of leaps. Yes, sir. We don't have enough time to go into all the, the leap um, thesis and the way it works. But yes, I do like the uh, leaps. Uh, I'm going to do the last tickers that are here, guys. And then I'm going to go eat. I haven't eaten all day. So um, give me a second. Premium. So I seen uh, TA on NAII. Ooh, this is a really nice flag right here, dude. So I like this flag, and um, this has been really strong for quite a while here, dude. What kind of what company is this? Natural Alternatives. What do they sell? I don't know what they sell, dude, but. I absolutely love this uptrend, bro. If you could buy on these dips down to the 14, 1390 for this to start moving up, I do like that. If it breaks anything below 1375, uh, you got to cut it. Uh, MNK. Mm, I don't have a ticker for MNK, brother. Or is it taking a while to load? What's up, Gabriel? What's up? I like to know. I, I like to think I know a thing or two about a thing or two, brother. And so, knock isn't going anywhere, dude. Uh, AMC. I would like to see it get over twenty tomorrow. Would be absolutely awesome if it it could get over twenty tomorrow. How much do I usually make a month being a stock trader? Like seventy thousand, seventy-two thousand. Let me know if you got that joke. Um, it depends, dude. It depends the month of the year. August is usually our slowest month. Right now, we're in the biggest, uh, the biggest time that of like the most profitable time. Well, not not most, 
the most opportunistic time, I guess, of the year, I would say, is January and February in the stock market. So you could see upwards of 100,000 um, realistically in a month. Yep, awesome guys. NKTR. Uh, this one's uh, trying to break out here as well, dude. So this is almost like the other pattern that we we're taking a look at. I don't know what their nectar therapeutics. If they could, uh, they need to get it back above twenty dollars, dude. So if they could get back above twenty dollars and hold above twenty dollars on NKTR, this is uh, this would be really good. And then they could, because uh, you could see where this was resistance right here, or excuse me, support. It's going to act as resistance. So if it could close over $20 and build a base above $20, then you could see this move to the upside. Target price, at least $20 tomorrow, I would, uh, I would, I would like. It needs to get over $16. There's sellers sitting at $16 on the, on the tape, very, very aggressively at $16 um, whenever, whenever AMC gets towards $16. Yes, make sure you're always mitigating your risk. First off, make sure, first rule of trading is you always assume your risk. No, I will not be going live tomorrow. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you want live tweets. I will tweet uh, as much as possible on what's going on and what I see on the tickers. <laughs> yeah, you can work, uh, quit your job and work for me. Only if I ch show you a check for 32000 There's There's guys in my room that make 32000 in one trade, dude. There's, there, it's not even like a monthly or daily daily thing. There's guys in my room that make 32000 in one trade, like pretty, pretty regularly five-figure trades. Uh, how to use the micro 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 cap uptrend uh, indicator right here? This is custom custom built for me right here, brother. This is um, for my macro trend. So basically, what it does it's a CCI. So if you look up what a, um, a, a CCI indicator is, it's custom built to show long term trend. So um, so basically, what you would use is this the cloud portion shows you the macro part. This measures 50 candles, and then the histogram, the bars, measure uh, 25 candles. So as long as the this cloud stays below the zero line, it's telling you to stay in the trade. Now, whenever it crosses, then that's telling you to go ahead and get out of the trade. So the trigger to the trigger to get into this trade would have been around right here. So at the top right here at 1960, and then to get out of it would have been right here around 15. Uh, uh, 1598 or so. <laughs> I can show you some PNLs. I uh, I I don't know if that'll work. I'll show you some PNLs. That's a I like that Turk. I like that. So you already have a plan. It's just actually sticking to that plan and uh, committing to it, dude. I like that. I like that you already have a plan. All right, guys. It's been absolutely awesome, bro. This is a this is a dream come true kind of thing. Where uh, I don't know if you guys caught the beginning of my beginning of my um, uh, the beginning of my uh, stream, but when I learned started learning how to trade, I was depressed because I broke up with my son's mother. I wasn't able to see my son, and the whole re my whole motivator from learning how to trade was that I wanted to show her up. I was like, fuck her. I'm gonna be driving a driving a Lambo and bang bitches and fuck her, right? Like I I, I was gonna show her, and that was my whole motivation behind starting to trade. And it didn't it didn't quite go like that as quickly as I wanted to. And so I locked myself in a room for a year and taught myself this. I was in a huge depression. Learned taught myself how to trade for a year, and there was times where I came on this this same exact stock cast and I literally cried because I streamed to no one. 
there was no one that watched my video and um to see see us top out like at 300 today guys was absolutely awesome i appreciate you guys um like i said i am here for i'm here to build a community even outside of my paid community so if you guys want to sign up for the uh the facebook group i'm happy to answer your questions i'm happy to look at technical technical analysis along with you and just um we're having a huge party uh in dallas in april if you guys want to come hang out uh at the party in april the new age wall street second anniversary party come out and hang out with us in dallas and uh if you want to come trade with me in the trade factory you could come trade with me in the trade factory you could sit over my shoulder and watch me trade and uh it doesn't cost anything just yeah if you just want to come show up awesome i'll come I'll, sh I'll you know help you out as much as i could so i um i appreciate you guys very much uh, my heart is full dude my i'm very gracious i'm very grateful dude and um if i could help one of you degenerates change your life and change you know change the direction of your life to be successful and to give you guys an opportunity to trade bro then god had a plan for me and that's why i'm here so it's humbling dude i appreciate you guys um yes we're having a party during covid if you're worried about covid then you could stay home uh monthly membership yes so if you go to newagewallstreet.com Give me like 15 minutes and we'll update the, um, we'll update everything on the website. Okay. How do I, how do you enter? What do you mean? How do you enter? Awesome guys. Yeah. Come, come trade with me live on Friday. Okay. Come trade with me live on Friday. I'll show my screen and I'll call out trades for you guys, answer your questions on Friday, and then we'll have Stockcast next Sunday too. Okay. So, uh, give me like 10, 15 minutes. We'll update the website, newagewallstreet.com. And, uh, for you guys, if you guys want to go ahead and sign up, just give me that time frame, and, uh, we'll catch you on the TGIF stream on Friday. Okay.